afternoon. Uh, my name is Austin Bolin, and uh, Myron and I are going to be covering some slides that Peter and Myron and I put together on some of the enhancements that we're working on for the next revision of the NVMe Management Interface Specification. Uh, so I'll start off and I'll give a quick update about what the NVMe MI workgroup has been working on. Uh, next, we have a review of the existing 1.0a specification, and we won't have time to cover all of that, but I'll touch on a couple of points, um, but these slides will be available for download from the FMF site later, so you can see those slides. Uh, and then we'll just jump right into the new features that we're working on for NVMe 1.1. Um, I'll start out by covering a proposal I wrote to add support for NVMe in-band, and then I'm going to hand it over to Myron and he's going to cover a proposal that Peter wrote to add support for enclosure management, and then he'll cover a proposal that he wrote to add support for multi-subsystem devices. So the MI work group is the team within the larger NVMe corporation that develops and publishes the NVMe management interface specification. And you can see down here, this was the first revision of the spec, 1.0. We put that out nearly two years ago. After we put that out, the, oh, go back here. Uh, the team took a brief hiatus while folks worked on the NVMe over fabric specification. Uh, and then we reconvened a few months later and we started working on doing some cleanup. So we made some clarification and we fixed some errata and we rolled all of these things up and we published them in the 1.0a spec. I'm keep this from switching here. Uh, which was released in April earlier this year. And so if you're doing anything with NVMe MI, uh, that's the version of the spec that you want to be working from. Now, in parallel with uh, working on 1.0a, we also started working on the anchor features for 1.1, which are shown on the right there, uh, and we'll cover those in more detail in a moment. Uh, those features are mostly complete now, and we hope to have them finished and published in the 1.1 spec by the end of this year. So I just wanted to touch on really quickly what the management interface was all about in 1.0a, and then we can talk about how that's evolving in 1.1. And so the soundbite that kind of sums it up is that it's a programming interface that allows out-of-band management of an NVMe field replaceable unit or a FRU. And so by management, we mean being able to do things like take inventory of the devices that are in a system, uh, being able to configure those devices, uh, being able to monitor their health or temperature, being able to do firmware updates and these sort of things. And those key management tenets are going to carry forward into 1.1. Now 1.0a was also focused only on managing things out of band, and we're going to extend that to cover in band as well, which I'll talk about in a second. And we're also really only focused on managing physical drives or FRUs in the 1.0a specification. And we're going to be extending that to handle more complex types of drives and also the ability to manage uh, enclosures as well. And so Myron will talk about both of those. Now, the only other thing I wanted to touch on from the 1.0a overview is this concept of out-of-band management. Um, so uh, the band in this context is the host operating system. And so if you're executing out of band, you're really executing independently of the host operating system. And so in a server, you typically have your host processor running your host operating system, and you would connect NVMe devices to that via the PCI Express bus. And you may also have a management controller, a BMC baseboard management controller. And this is running management software that's completely independent of the host operating system. And so in 1.0a, we have the ability for this BMC to manage NVMe devices out of band using an existing transport protocol 
called MCTP or Management Component Transport Protocol. And it can communicate to the NVMe devices uh, by sending management interface commands across this transport over two physical buses. One of them we have on the right here is, is SM bus or I squared C. And we can also send them over the PCI Express bus using PCI e vendor defined messages. Okay, so in, in contrast to that, we have in band. Uh, and in band management is management that is dependent on the host operating system. And so in 1.1, we're adding in this pathway here to be able to send MI commands over the in band interface. This in-band interface today is defined in the NVM Express specification, and they have uh, a few different command sets, one to do I.O., and the other to do configuration and management tasks called the admin command set. And so the way that we're going to tunnel the MI command set over this existing in-band interface is by creating a pair of NVMe admin commands, and these are really just wrapper commands. So we have one, the NVMe MI send command, and we'll use that to wrap up management commands that send data from the host down to the drive, so it's similar to a write operation. And then we have NVMe MI receive, and it will be used to wrap management commands that send data from the drive back up to the host, uh, so similar to a read operation. Now, this in-band tunneling mechanism also gives us the ability to tunnel MI commands over NVMe over fabrics, as shown here. Uh, this one is not an official work item in the management interface work group right now, but some folks have expressed interest in it, and so we may formalize that one in the future. Okay, so, so why are we doing this? What does being able to tunnel MI in band give us? I mean, we, we already have this NVMe admin command set that we can use to manage devices in band, so what does the MI command set bring to the table? Uh, well, we added several management type commands in MI that aren't available in any NVMe admin commands today. And today they're only available out of band, so these would include things like being able to manage NVMe at the fruit level, uh, being able to access their vital product data, and we're also adding the ability to do enclosure management. And we want to be able to do all of these things in band as well. And so creating this in band tunnel just gives us a convenient uh, way where we can define management related commands in one spot in the management interface specification and then we can use them across all the different interfaces where NVMe runs, whether it's in band or over fabrics or wherever. All right, uh, and with that, I'm going to turn it over to Myron to talk about the enclosure management. Thank you.